Got us a Goodman Air Handler here. ARUF 42. It's got a uh, um, external expansion valve. You see here, there's the TXV. And there's the equalizing tube. And uh, this unit was put in by my company. But I had a guy that I used to let do my sub work. And uh, this is one of many things I've had to go back on. You can see how the line set comes up and then it loops and it comes, you know, it loops and then comes down back into the unit. Well, you can see the line set's not supported. It, it is right there, but look at all the slack. Well, look at that. See how that moves? Well, over time, all when that unit would come on, that line set would jerk. So now we have this issue. And this issue. This one was ringing off, not as bad. There it goes. And the equalizing tube is really the problem. So we're gonna support the line set like it's supposed to be. All right, guys, we have supported it with hanging strap, plumbing strap, whatever you wanna call it. Now, this is 410A equipment. Um, this the, the condensing unit is Arco Air, which was not installed by me or my sub or nobody. You see, this house is foam, and he when the house was built, another contractor put this in, and he had a lot of trouble with the Arco Air handler. He went through three evaporators, and then the company didn't register the warranty, so he only he was reverted to a five year warranty, and he didn't want to put another coil in the uh. Arco. Uh, so at the time I was selling Goodman. So we installed this Goodman air handler. My sub did and did not uh, support the line set. And that's what has caused all these leaks. The, the line set, you know, jerking when the, when the refrigerant starts to flow. Um, and it's just taking a toll. Um, now the leak detector, it's still going off because the, 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 the Armaflex is saturated with oil. I mean, uh, you, it, it's not going to show up on camera, but this thing is still pretty saturated, and uh, the Armaflex is saturated. I could actually turn this flare nut right here by hand. That's how loose it was. And then we tightened up the two on the TXV, this one, and the one that enters the evaporator. Uh, that's why, uh, you know, it's, you know, that's what happens when, you know, you don't do your work right. So... We're gonna go out there and uh, it's a heat pump. We're gonna charge, it's a 14 sear. That's why I have an external TXV. That's why I did not use a piston because this condensing unit is a 14 sear. And uh, so we're gonna go out there and reset the charge. Uh, it may be warm enough to where I can uh, get it charged properly in the cooling mode. We'll see anyway. If not, I'll have to follow the heating chart. So. Uh, but I think we got him fixed up, and the, the line set, it, you can see, it, it can't jerk anymore. It's, it's, it can't bounce up and down, so. You see that one right there. I mean, and you, you, don't, you don't strap a damn line set with thermostat wire. I mean, you know, you, you just don't do that. You know, this is going to support it. So, uh, all right, well, I'm going to run down and juice this thing back up, and hopefully they'll be good to go. All right, we got that manifold hooked up and I'm adding refrigerant before I start it because the pressures are so low that it's it's kicking off on low pressure right away. So I'm gonna, I'm dumping a little gas in it before we crank it up and then we'll finish charging it. We'll have to charge it in heating mode. It's, it's too cool out here for air conditioning. All right, we got 334 over 83. Uh, it's about 52 degrees out here. Uh, the chart shows, the heating chart says they want 332 head pressure and 119 on suction, but I, I don't think I want to raise it much more than this because you see the head pressure is already getting up there and the liquid line temperature is already, I mean suction line temperature is already 102 degrees. So, uh, 
you know, and 410A at that pressure in the heating mode, that seems right to me. So we're going to, uh, I, I think I'm going to let that ride. Um, plus, the temperature on the chart is not quite what the temperature is out here. So I may squirt a little bit more in it, maybe get it a little, just a little closer to 90. And I think that's about as far as I'm going to go with it. All right, guys. Final pressure is going to be 357 over 92. I'm happy with that. Suction line's at almost 160 degrees. It's warming very well in the house. Um, he's got a, these people have a make, these, uh, excuse me, these, these people have a maintenance contract with me. So I'll be back in the next month and a half, two months, because I'm going to start doing my maintenance because it's going to start warming up here. So I'll recheck the charge during the summer in the cooling mode. But for the heating mode, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.